OK, first we have to go to System Preferences. Then click on Speech. Now, where Speakable Items is, you want to click on. And now, a little icon that looks like this will be on your screen. You can move this about and put it anywhere you want. You might just want to test it out to see what you can do. So press Escape and hold it, then say, what time is it, nice and clearly in your normal voice. The icon should change to this, and your max default voice, that's me by the way, should say the time. If not, try again until you can get it to work. Also, it's a bit sensitive to random noises, so it works best in a quiet environment. To find out what command you have to say, to do something, you can click on the little arrow. A window will appear with all the commands that you have to say to do something. You have to make sure you say the exact same thing that's on the screen or it will not work. OK, now I'm going to pass you over to Victoria. She's going to tell you how to customize it. Thanks, Alex. Now, to customize it, all you have to do is go back to the speech in the system preferences. There are two ways you can customize it. First, you can set it to work when you are pressing a key. By default the key is escape, but you can change this by clicking on change key and selecting what key you want to use. Secondly, you can set it so you don't have to press any keys at all. You say a keyword. A keyword is a word you can say before you say the command you want. The default keyword is computer, so it would work like this. Computer, what time is it? You can change the keyword by selecting the type box and typing the word you want to use. You can have any word you want, as long as it's going to be easy for me, Alex or one of the people inside your Mac to understand. The last way to customize it is to set it as listen continuously with keyword, but just leave the keyword type box empty. So all you have to say is the command you want. You don't have to say anything else or press any buttons. But if you have it like this, it's on all the time. So if you say quit the application by accident, it will do it. So if you have it in this mode, be careful. That's all from me and Alex, so check this out and see if you like it, it will impress your friends. Thanks for listening.